Okay, so my this device is not hooking up because I have too many wireless connections going into my uh, phone because that phone that, that I'm pointing at is connected via uh, you know Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So right now it's not uh, this is not working. So we're not going to use this. So all I'm going to do is measure. Uh, so I'm going to use this device. Actually, I like this device better. So, <clears throat> so we're going to go in here, and all I'm going to do is measure. So I'm out of the room for the other. Okay, just like that other one. Now, <clears throat> I type 15.9. So, did you get that one? Fourteen point nine is fifteen feet nine in, eleven inches. Okay. It's not gonna. It's well, I not thought gonna, you said fifteen nine. Fifteen point nine. Okay. okay. It's the same thing oh, as fifteen feet eleven inches. 15. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it, this is converting it into inches. Okay. It's the same thing as putting fifteen eleven. Okay. 0.9 of a foot is eleven inches. Right. Okay. Right. So so. <clears throat> yeah. Right. Yeah. So remember. So there. So guys, there's a difference between 0.9 and eleven inches. So. Um, <clears throat> There's something you got to be careful when when you're inputting this if somebody tells you 15.9 when you put 15.9 uh, So the 15.9 You see it's 15 feet 11 inches Okay, so uh, Right, that's how you're gonna learn so <clears throat> You can key in inches or you can key in points uh you know like point of a foot into exactly mid so let me let me just demonstrate that so you see right now i have this thing at 29.2 no not excuse me not 29.2 this is 29 feet two inches let me enlarge that so you can see that you see that's 29 feet two inches okay so but look i'm going to click here you see where I'm clicking right here? Mm -hmm. So that I want the room to go this way. Okay, that anchor point on the right, that's, that, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm, I'm clicking on it, right? And then I can change this right here. So if, while I go, I put 15.9. Uh, this time I'm going to put 15, comma 11, which is the same thing. Watch this, 15, comma 11. Now, You'll see 1511. Now I'll demonstrate it with 15.9. Uh, you see, right now it's 29.5, right? If I click here and I put 15.9, you're going to see it's going to convert it to 15 feet 11 inches. That's what we're going to use. But that was a good, good. Don't, you see, and that I need that feedback. So this guy's, because this guy's are going to make the same mistake. Because I've made it before. That's why I know the difference between 0.9 and 11 inches. Right. So, so when you see something different than mine, you're going to have to tell me. And this is, man, he's a good learner. He, uh, you know, I've, I've actually learned a little bit of things from him. So, uh, <laughs> you know, you, you can always learn. Okay, now, so, now we have a, uh, You see down there, we have, like that's the kitchen, and then there's the bathroom. But before we move out of this room, what we're going to do down here, there's a window, and there's all, uh, there's a window, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to draw all the windows, and we're going to draw all the doors and the room. Then we're going to do another, another video. On the second video... Uh, it's going to be a continuation in case y'all get bored. Y'all just want to do one or you can continue. 
we're going to do the cabinets, the uh, your cabinetries. You're going to do the bookshelf. We're going to do the top shelf and the refrigerator. Then on another video, we'll draw the bathroom in complete. That way, when you go to a house, you'd actually be able to draw almost in, the inside of any house. Okay, so this is the bedroom. We're going to do the window next. Okay, so uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Okay, so, so there's the window, right? Now, so the window is sitting right here on the east side of the room. Okay, so if you... Okay, what's the key for window? Huh? Oh, the west. The key is the uh, W for window. Exactly. There you go. So we're going to hit W for window, and, and we're just going to click here. Okay. So now we're going to go to our properties. There's two ways to get to your pro Actually, there's three ways to get to your property. So I'm going to show you each one of them. If I hit Control Enter, you see how the properties went? It's because I have the window selected. When I hit window, I placed it in there. It kept it selected, right? And all I had to do was hit enter. Now, uh, a lot of people can remember the command. So I'm going to show you also, if you double click in the window, not outside the window, not right when you see it blue, double click. You double click and it's going to give you the same thing, right? I, one last way to do it is you click on the window and you see this little icon right here that that looks like it has some a writing in a hand that's your property window okay so if you click on that icon it's going to give you the windows so uh So anytime you're measuring, guys, I don't care what it is. I don't care if you're a graphic artist. I was in the graphic industry for, God, 15, 20 years. I've been in the construction business for 27 years. I've been in the adjusting business for six years. Now, when somebody gives you measurements, and and the first measurement, everybody, you know, most people that know those fields, know that your first measurement is always going to be your width okay when it comes to exactament the next measurement that you want is going to be the base height the base height is you see here's the window so the base height is from here down here so from here to there is called your base height so so the first thing I'm gonna do is click on the width, right? Uh, did you click on the width? I did. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure inside the, uh, the window, okay? So if I click on this, it's gonna, the measurement is three, ten, uh, three feet, 10 inch. Okay, so we're gonna type three feet, 10 inch, and I'm gonna hit tab. Don't hit, the way you can hit enter too, but hit tab, okay? And that's going to take you to the next uh, measurement. Now it's asking for the base height. Okay, so, um, so I would go in here. Uh, I got some stuff right here, so look, I'm going to measure from the base of this window to the floor, okay? And I'm going to click. That measurement is 2 feet 4 inch. So I'm going to go in here and hit 2 comma 4. I'm going to hit one more tab. That's going to get. Now the next thing as you see. Then it makes the height right. So now we're going to go in here. And put the height up. And then when you click on it. And it's going to be 4, 3. So you type. Four, comma three. Have I lost you, sir? Okay. Uh, the first one was uh, yeah, you hit the 
one. Okay, so it's three ten. Okay, he's cut out. Good. Okay, now. So you're not always going to be able to use your measuring device. And another thing, guys, you see what I'm wearing here? Okay, so if I need to use, uh, okay, so if I wanted to write something, you know, you see how I reached up and got a pen? I know where everything that. So you, you need to find something that will give you everything you need. For instance, I got a flashlight. I got a pitch gauge. I got a um, roofing gauge. I got my tablet. Now, you know, I got my measuring devices. I reach back here, or you know, if I need a shock, to shock something, I got it. If I don't want to pull my uh, my phone out to see if what is north, south, and west, all I do is point that way, and it tells me what it is. Okay. So then I also got these things. Whenever I'm taking photographs, if I want to take north, the front. The left, back, east, I take a picture because you're going to be down there and the contractor is going to say, first of all, you need to control the situation. But every once in a while, you know, you might have to deviate. I always try to tell these guys, sir, can you please let me take these things in the order that I want because that's what my uh, examiner wants. Okay, sometimes you might not be able to do that because they only got a few minutes and then they're going to have to take, go somewhere else and they're going to leave you by, by yourself. So at that point, if, they, if he takes you to the front, take a picture of the front and then he pulls you to the left. Before you take that picture, take a picture of that. So that takes you back. You got to be able to have a camera and you see how I turned it on? And you see how I'm handling it? You got to be able to have something that you can control like this. Because sometimes you're barely going to be hanging on and you have to be able to take photos. So before you start doing any kind of measurement, you got to be able to practice with something like this where you don't look like you don't know what you're doing. Because if you act like you don't know what you're doing, those in the, those uh, public adjusters or the contractors, they're going to try to eat you alive. So practice and practice before you go there. Do not show them that you don't really know what you're doing. Fortunately, I was able to fake it from the get-go. It's because I had some uh, construction, you know, experience. But you can still fake it. Just don't ever let them show, you know, that you don't know what you're doing. Okay. So back to what I was going to tell you. You can't always use your uh, digital devices. One thing, another thing that you need to do, you need to be able to handle a, a ruler, measuring tape. So one of the best ones that you're going to find is called a Fat Max 1335. It's heavy, it's expensive, but here's the deal. With a, with a lightweight measuring device, you can't go in. Oh. One second here. Okay, my, 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 my window. Uh, okay, with this thing here, look, I'm sitting, I'm sitting 10 feet away from the wall. You see how I mean, I'm touching the wall. Can you hear that? I'm touching the other side of the wall. Now, another thing you got to be able to be able to do with this guy is handle him good. Because you don't want to be out there stumbling and, you know, practice and practice, guys. So what's this? I'm going to measure this with this device. But you got to act like you know what you're doing. You get this device, you do this to it, right? Now, if I wanted to, look, I can measure... 
the, 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 the top of the ceiling. Look, I'm touching the top of the ceiling, right? So be able to, to handle this thing like this. Like, you know, you want to measure this guy. Look at this. Look how simple it is. Okay? So now that's four feet, four inches. Basically the same thing we said earlier, right? So learn how to handle this. Remember, every action you take is going to be, they're going to be watching you, and they're looking for an adjuster that doesn't know what they're doing. At that point, boom, it's over. No, it's not over. I mean, I'm just saying they're going to find everything they can, and they're going to try to talk you into buying things that, that you shouldn't be buying. Same thing, if, if you're doing something sideways, look, look, watch how I do this. You see this? I'm going to go inside here. Look, I'm going to go inside. And then, okay, so watch this. I go inside, and then I measure, okay? So make sure you know how to handle this. That's real important. Okay, now let's go to the next step. Sorry about that. I just, I want y'all to learn, man. I'm, I, I, I want y'all to be successful. You can make some good money. You can easily make 150 to 175,000 in six months if you know what you're doing. That's easy to do. Trust me. Ask any adjuster that's, that works for the big, big companies. Not the big companies. You know, I'm talking about the nice companies. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to mention names because I work for a bunch of companies. So I, I don't want to throw nobody under the, the, <laughs> the table. Okay. So now, we got the window. And before you walk away, you need to know what size of a uh, uh, ceiling you have, right? The good thing about this thing here, you don't have to get on your knees. You don't, uh, all, all, all you have to do is, look, you see, you see this right here? You have this thing that the air is the top and the air is down. The middle is the middle of this thing. So when, when I go in here and and click here and hit it once, look. 7.9 seconds. Now, you know, you know it's eight feet. You're not gonna put 7.987. Why? Because you know you have you know you have towel, you have you're always gonna lose a little bit of footage. So it's always gonna be eight feet. It's gonna be eight feet, nine feet, ten feet. You know, you're not gonna put nine point eight seven because it's an eight foot ceiling. Okay. So you know, and to get to that, same thing. I'm gonna hit I'm gonna double click now. You see, I'm gonna double click inside this room right here, right? It's gonna go back to my pro uh, properties. See how it says ceiling height, eight feet. I didn't have to change it. They say it was nine feet. You hit nine, enter, or we change it back to eight the way it is. Eight, enter. Okay. Um, <clears throat> trying to figure out something that you might also. Uh, that's uh, that's that's basically in this room here. Now. Uh, another thing I do that that uh, if I was going to have to pay for the ceiling and the walls a lot of people are going to write this down right okay unfortunately I don't write nothing down and when I leave that place I know everything that was inside that room and I'll explain what I'm talking about. If I hit T, okay, that's going to go to my annotations and allow me to place text inside this room. So what I do is I click here in the middle of the room, somewhere in the room, and look, we have one, two cam lights. We got two cam lights, right? So I'm going to put two cam. You know, or you can use your own kind of abbreviation. Okay, it's it, now also inside this room is a, so uh, here, let me show you what, what, I'm, what I'm looking at. So look, you see, you got that cam light, right? 
Okay. Uh, now, look what else you have inside this room. You have a uh, smoke detector. Okay. So, what you want to do is also, hit, you know, hit one, S, M, O, K, and then just put D. You don't want too much writing because it'll get cumbersome. And then, if there was, let, okay, this doesn't have a, uh, <clears throat> um, it doesn't have a fan, but if it did have fan, you would type like one, uh, you know, like C, F, A, N for a ceiling fan, you know, uh, and then let's say if it, if that ceiling fan had a light, you would put like slash L for light. If you have fans without lights, you have fans with lights and they cost a little more or they, they you know, they cost more. So you want to pay for everything more. Okay, so now I'm going to hit okay. Okay, so, <clears throat> uh, this is a little more, to be honest with you, it's a little more advanced than a regular, uh, I would be teaching a lot more, but I trained this guy for half a day. He did so good that I said, you know what, we're going to move on to the second stage. And uh, so we're, we just, uh, there's a lot of things I would teach you, which I've already taught him, but uh, if I have over a hundred videos and you, all you have to do is type Hector Mendoza. So if you go uh, on YouTube and uh, here, I, I, I'll let you, let me show you real quick here. So something I want to show y'all, I have over a hundred videos, right? So if you go to Google or for whatever web you use, uh, if you go to YouTube, if you type Hector and type Mendoza and uh, and hit enter, so far that I've seen, my name usually comes up more. So the more videos you have, the more searches that people search you or that uh, you can become up in the front. Like for instance, um, you, you see, uh, there's a lot of hectares, but mine comes up more because I I've, I've, uh, have recently put more things on that web than any, anybody that has the name Hector Mendoza. Okay, now, so you'll see this ugly guy right here. So if you click on him, and then you click on videos, you're going to see every one of my videos, okay? So I teach... Simbility, Word, uh, Excel, you know, Xactimate, and then uh, I'm starting to put out some some things about aeronautical maps, how to read them. Uh, I got some. I created a program. That, well, it's not a program. It's I created based on a bunch of pro programs on how to. Uh, find a latitude and longitude fast what used to what it would take me about three or four minutes it takes me seconds and but we're not doing that but you will see that because a drone has a lot to do with it with uh, being an adjuster and um, it, it helped me increase my uh, productivity having that drone okay so I uh, thought I sh uh, shared that with you so we're going to continue um, oh, 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 here, while, while I'm there. So, and not just for my site, any site. So if you became a subscriber to somebody and, you know, if you subscribe to me, every time you see a new, vid a new video, it'll usually let you know that I have a new video, but not just that. If you open up my, uh, my uh, page and you hit control S, okay? And let's say you want to know something about roof in my uh, things, you just type R O O F. Anything that has anything to do with roof, you see, like this one here, it has, uh, it highlighted that one, it highlighted this, this, and as you go, anything that has the word roof is it, going to highlight it. So, you know, let's say that you, you're looking for something that is, uh, oops. Oh, oh. 
this thing came up look this is that aeronautical map that i'm telling uh is telling you about uh, i teach how what every one of those symbols are and so as a pilot you have to know everything about that and i also teach that that thing just popped up for uh, i hit the wrong button but anyway so um that's a good way of uh, searching because like i said i got a hundred and something videos out there let me see how many i got uh, it doesn't tell me here but i know it's over 100 videos so let's go back to uh the sketch okay so we drew this room now we're gonna draw draw the kitchen and we're gonna draw the bathroom so if you give me a second uh pause the f6 okay so i'll I switch the camera this way uh Tommy asked me a question, and a good question. He saw, he noticed that we put the cam lights with our receiving lights, and he we put the smoke detector. And he asked me, at what point are you going to put your electrical outlets, your switches, and and things of that nature? Right. Normally, you're not going to pay extra if you're going to paint and and uh, do stuff for because that's usually included in the painting and stuff right but you know if you were going to do the uh, the walls like remove them you know you would also put in here how many switches you have and how many uh outlets you have so that is important because you know you you know uh you you can't charge for that some companies are not going to let you do it because it's included and then some of them will. And but we're going to talk about that kind of stuff in, in, in later videos. And you'll see those in some other videos. Okay. So now, so from here to here, here is the kitchen. And then inside there, uh it is it, the you see inside this door is the, the bathroom. Okay, now so we're gonna do the kitchen. So tell me, how would I create on a different room if well what would what what would i do to create another room you're going to do it right and how you do that is you put the closest to the right of your existing room you have and hit b and then the last room you move your cursor into the line and, and you tap once and then you drag your with your anchor over but they couldn't have said it any better good job man <laughs> you don't train me by like not even two three hours okay and so what command was it you see, guys, it's real easy to learn commands. Okay, so I'm going to show you some commands that you're going to use over and over and over. Room, R, W, window, for one window W, door, D. Um, you're going to have to use this other thing, like, uh, you know, uh, right, B, uh, uh, well, there's a bunch of commands, but anyway, so let's start with those right there. Okay, so, so what's this? And, you know, you could measure from here to here, which is, so what's this? What can you measure? I don't know if you can see the, uh, so, so if I go in here and measure, it's 6.761. Okay, so I could go in here and hit B and look from here to here. I could try to go in there and find 6.7, right? And it, it, I mean, you could sit there and try to zoom in, or all you have to do is just click. Now, I'm, I'm glad that happened. <clears throat> I clicked on there, right? But here's the deal. And I know why it's not letting me do this, but if I try to move this anchor point, it's not gonna let me move it. Before I even move it, I'm gonna tell you why. Because right now you see, you see an anchor point here, an anchor point here, and look at this symbol right here. It's a, another anchor point, but next to it has some lines. So it's not going to let me grab this anchor point and you see, 
and I disappeared. That's why I wanted to explain to y'all. So when you see that, don't freak out. Don't keep on and try and try. It ain't going to work. So what you do is you try it again. Get your break tool and click somewhere else. Okay. Until you see two anchor points and a line. So this line is where the break is where it breaks. So you notice some, it's a little to the left, and then to the right, it has more. Okay, so now, if I was going to extend this room, which I'm going to do, but you, you don't do it because we're not going to extend it. This is a different room. Right. So basically, this room does look like this, okay? It does look like that, but now... The problem is that this is one whole room and that's not what you want. This is the kitchen and you need to treat this and the kitchen different. Normally, that's gonna have some kind of flooring. This is probably gonna have tile. That one might have carpet. This is probably gonna have tile or you might have wood floors throughout but you still need to identify each room. So, now we're gonna hit control Z. Okay, that that's a... Uh, that's if we just went and just pulled it, right? You're extending it. Now, we're going to hit B. We're going to click anywhere. I'm not trying to look for any numbers. This time, I'm going to hold my control key with my left click, uh, uh, mouse. My left click, I'm going to click down, and I'm going to move it to the right. Now, when I release my mouse, mouse, you notice now it said room two. What is this? The kitchen, right? So immediately I type kitchen. If you type KI, all you got to do is type K and it's going to type kitchen. All you do is hit enter. You don't even have to put KI. Okay, now, now we do need to go ahead and start getting our measurements. Okay, so now, so I'm going to click on this uh, anchor point. And another thing I want to talk to y'all about anchor points. Okay, so if I click here on that anchor point, you see this arrow? All these arrows is telling you what, uh, where this is going to go, okay? You see, like I'm, I'm going to move it way down here at the bottom. So, uh, so if you measure, I don't know. So, oops, six seven. Okay. So it's six seven. Uh, six, seven. Six, seven. six point seven. Six, right. Yeah. So, so we're gonna type six point seven, which is not the same, which which is the same as six point eight. So now we have this measurement. The next measurement I need is. From here to there. Okay. Um, now, so if I click on this here, you see right here, there's an arrow that tells that tells the machine when I change this number here, it's gonna go this way. So right now I'm probably right here. When I add that number, it's gonna go all the way out. Okay, now this this particular thing would not be practical to use because this measures both ways. Now, if you did measure both ways, let me see that. Oh, no, I don't need that. Uh, then hopefully you do have something like this that you could put right here and, and, and do this. But if you don't have one of those, then what you would do is grab the other device that would measure from the back end of it. This device will measure from the back of it, but then you have to go in there and reprogram it. So, you know, you want to be a little modest. So, for, for this for this purpose, I'm, I'm going to uh, use this one, okay? Because it only took me a second to pull that guy out, right? So, what's this? 7 11. So, I know that. Seven. Point 11. So, you're going to hit 7. Point eleven, which is yep, 
Yeah, 7.11 is 7 and 1 inch. Got it. It's which is 7.11, which is 1 inch, you know. Okay, so now, okay, so so this is what it's looking like. Okay, so, and that's the, the beauty about doing it on you're doing it. it only takes a second to go 1D, 3D, 1D. If you want to go to 2D, you know, you go to 2D, 1D. It's real easy, but like 3D, you look and say, okay, I, I see my window. I see the wall. Okay, no. But hey, you know what? There's a wall here. That wall don't belong there. Okay, no problem. You, I'm going to show you a couple of ways of deleting the wall. There's more than a couple of ways. There's a million ways, actually, not a million. So if I click on that wall and I hit delete, it deletes it, right? Okay, that's one way. If um, if I hit M, if M is for missing wall. If I hit M and I click on that wall, it deletes it. Well, it does, yeah, yeah, it deletes it, right? So now, uh, control Z. Now, if I right click on that wall, I can delete it, right? So there's a, a lot of ways of doing it. So I showed you a few ways. Now, now the last thing we got is this room here. So if you have a room like this, you have a room here, this room and this room, when, when you add this room and this room, it equals to that room. All you're going to have to do is go in here, select that wall, hold your control key, click on that anchor point, and snap to that wall down there. And all you would have to do is go in here and change this to bathroom. All you got to do is just type B, A, T, you see, and it automatically type uh, uh, type the rest of it for you. Okay, now the last thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna put in the door, and then the second video will show you how to do the cabinetries, okay, and the microwave. Then on another video, we'll show you how to do the bathroom, the little things. Air conditioner down there. I'm gonna have to show you how to draw them because here, here's the deal. Most insurance companies, when you're gonna paint, they're gonna want you to remove. Uh, can you see? Yeah, you can see the cabinet. Okay, so you see I have a cabinet right here, right? So when you're painting this wall, you're not gonna paint that, right? So this area, the square footage of this and this, and well, this you would because you would just move the refrigerator, but you have some, uh, uh, you know, dressers and some uh, bookshelves. Well, you don't paint the, that wall, so you have to remove that from the equation of the uh, of the wall. And we're going to show you how to do that. But let me show you how to do this two uh, rooms. I mean, uh, doors. Door. Boom! All you do is you hit D, and let's say it's this. This is right here. Okay. Now, so here, let, let me give me one second here. Function. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, I just wanted to move my camera around a little bit. Now, so here's that. Here's that bathroom that we were talking about. Here's this this uh, door, and then uh, here's that other door. Okay, so let's go to even one of those doors. So, um, okay, so, <clears throat> so if you notice that door, it, 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 it's facing the wrong way, right? So you see right here how my, these are called the hinges. Okay, so the hinges, they're in the right location, but that door goes in. Okay, so how am I going to change this, Tommy? Just horizontal. 
boom, there you go. Uh, actually, you're gonna flip vertical on that one. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. But 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 you I have was, to, I yeah yeah mine, yeah I right right. No, that's okay. But man, good job, man. Did, look, you're yeah. only, you're only trying two three hours with me, and, and you knew exactly what you know. But 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 that's good, man. That you know where to go. You know what you have to do. Okay. And so, uh, one thing I I, I um. I really should have been doing from the get go is teaching y'all not just the commands because, okay, so not everybody's going to remember commands. Okay, so I need to also teach you, like, here's the door. You see right here? If I hit uh, flip vertical, look what happens. See? And that's what I wanted. I wanted it to open inside. Okay, now if I wanted to change the hinges, I would click here. See? That, 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 that it just it's still going opening from the outside of the bathroom but it's it just changes the hinges okay so this is what it's looking like now I don't do it that way this is the way I do it so let's say if I wanted to move this uh, I want the door to go out I, I open my I, I would click on my open bracket if I wanted to flip the thing the hinges I would hit my, that was my closed bracket. I would hit my open bracket. If I wanted to change my hinges again, I would click my open bracket. And if I wanted that thing to open inside, I would click on my right bracket. Okay, so uh, now the last thing we would have to do, a lot of people, they just look at it and they like, like I know, it, I haven't measured this. Uh, that looks like a three, three foot door, right? So. Let's let's see if that's correct. You can check. You can change it with a uh, check it with your visual device. And it says three feet. See, back in three feet. Yeah. So. Uh, on mine, it's showing the two point. You know, three. Yeah. Three, six so so by standard, that's so what it's going to show. So you need to change that. Exactly. Right, so you click there, you hit three, and you hit enter. Okay, now, even though personally, even though personally, I already, you know, I already knew it was a three because I've seen it a bunch of times, right. but I will double check it because it could be a, a 2.7, you know, uh, right. but I, I, I like giving them exactly what they're getting. So now the last thing we have is this door right here, right? Okay, so so I'm gonna hit door again, and it's always it's on the uh, this side of the wall, and look, it's opening the correct way. See, so it opens up this way, and look, here's the hinge. Here's the hinge. It opens out again. If I wanted to for the door to go out, I would be I'll be selecting the um, the open bracket, close close bracket. Excuse me. Okay. Or uh, yeah, I was right. The open bracket, because that does horizontally. But we're gonna switch it back, so I'm gonna hit open bracket. Okay, guys. So that's all I'm gonna show you for this one, because I don't like to have my videos real long. So we're gonna have two parts, two additional parts. they it'll be name almost exactly the same except the other one will be a number two and the other one will be number three or i might just put cabinets and the other one i might put bathroom so thank you for watching and if you like this video please uh put that you like it or i know they have something there subscribe to the and channel. subscribe yeah subscribe to my channel too good job good job thanks guys um okay so Control F9.